Hi again then guys and welcome to another speed build on Forza Horizon 3, this time for a pretty popular drifter and a popular JDM car in general, the S13 Nissan Silvia, aka the Silvia Club K's here on the game, but most people who know of the car would call it the S13 more than anything. As far as the tuning on this vehicle goes though, this, as I've said with a number of other JDM tunes, is not a tune for purists. If you're into keeping the standard engine, keeping the standard drivetrain, and working with that, then this quite simply isn't the tune for you. This is more for those people who don't care about having original parts, they just want to take the car and make it fast. Which is more the way I approach it. I don't necessarily care that it doesn't have the normal engine. Now I've gone for the 6.2 litre V8 option, you do also have stuff like rotaries. You could go for the quad rotor, and you will still get great straight line performance, but I've gone for the V8 because it gives you the best numbers. Now, as far as the drivetrain, we've got all-wheel drive on this particular vehicle. Again, definitely not for purists. For aspiration, the twin turbo. As you can see, of course, I have fitted the Rocket Bunny body kit. That's not necessarily essential. If you don't fit it, as you can see, it does bump it down into the S1 class, which is a nice advantage to have, and it also allows it to be more of a sleeper car. But, of course, most people will probably go for that because it looks pretty cool. Now, as far as the rest, it's down to you for the majority of the visuals, you know, the rear wing, the rims, that kind of thing. But the important stuff is that you improve the power and increase that as much as you can, lower the weight as much as you can, and fit everything to the car with race or racing in the title. So the diff, the gearbox, the suspension, the brakes, all that kind of good and fairly obvious stuff. But I do occasionally still get people asking why they can't hit this particular gear ratio or why their suspension isn't adjustable. And it's quite simply because you didn't fit the race parts. It's really as simple as that. Now, the benchmark is pretty good. It's not as strong as some of the other JDM cars, but it definitely isn't slow either. 2 seconds to 60, 4.5 technically to 100, 258 flat out. Those are good numbers from a car which traditionally isn't used as much for top-end speed. Now, for the gearbox, I would recommend a 2.7 final drive, and then fairly standard settings overall. 2.89 for first, then 2, 1.5, 1.17, 0.95 and 0.76. As far as the alignment, I've opted for neutral camber and toe, but some people might want to stance it a bit. Of course, that's up to you. Go ahead and do so if you want to. We've got four degrees of caster. Anti-roll we've got on 32 and 20. Springs on 147, 148, and I've opted for the lowest ride height. Again, that's down to personal preference. Dampers we've got on 14, 13, and 6. Aero doesn't apply, and for the diff I've opted for 100% on acceleration, 0 on decel, and for this particular model a 75% split in favour of that back end. So you can definitely get the tail out, you can drift the car, but at the same time you get great launch and it helps out a lot to get that power down both on and off-road to the road. Now this tune is on my storefront, so you can use the keywords down in the description to find it more quickly and more easily. But for now, of course, let's actually take this vehicle out on the road to see if it can hit at least that quoted benchmark of 258. Now as far as JDM cars go, even more powerful ones, this is one of those cars that I would say doesn't necessarily struggle with straight line speed, but it takes a bit longer to get to that benchmark. It can hit around 258 with a long enough road, but under more usual circumstances you're looking more around 250. It gets up to that kind of speed pretty well, and that last 8 or so miles per hour takes quite a bit longer. Now overall, it's pretty quick. For those who want to use top-end performance, or want to use the S13 in particular for top-end performance, it does offer that. So, if you do decide to use this tune, or some variation of it, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And of course, there are plenty more, and also even faster JDM tunes on the channel, to check out. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.